Hey everybody, Tom here. This time on Let's Geek Out on Unica, we're talking dynamic offer personalization. That's coming up next. Hey everybody, we're back with our ongoing series on offers and offer management and what's new in version 12. And Matt's going to take us into the next chapter of our story. So I'll send it over to you, Matt. Thanks, Tom. And hi, everyone. In uh, the first part of this series, as we got into the software, uh, we had talked about how you create uh, an offer from the attributes that define that uh, type of offer. We used the example of a, a buy one, get one. And in the last series, we talked about how you can assign that offer uh, against segments in a campaign. And we used a, an example of a testing campaign where we assign different versions of, of that uh, uh, buy one, get one offer uh, against different segments. Now I wanna talk uh, about some newer features uh, that explain how, how do we essentially, as we're building the list of customers to target uh, that we wanna email, let's say, um, how do we include the offer attributes so that uh, that can be uh, rendered properly for each email recipient? And it could be similar in, in other channels as well. We're just going to use an example of email. So if I go back into the software, here again is the flowchart where I created um, uh, a split of three segments and I'm targeting them with three different uh, uh, BOGO offer versions. You'll notice uh, this was the tab that you know, I had created uh, the assignments. And this is the tab essentially that will select the fields that are sent over the uh, in the file that goes to my email service provider, whatever that uh, may be. And then I'm logging everything here to contact history. So I'm maintaining uh, that record. So in the system, let's say that in, um, uh, you know, on the left, and I'm gonna go into slides here just to show two different screens. Uh, let's say on my left, I have my particular offer. On the uh, right, I have an email template set up. And this is a very simple example uh, to render the, the offer. So I, I, again, have a placeholder for an image, a, a title, the body, the call to action but, uh, button, uh, text, and the underlying hyperlink. And so with this version, we also include a asset picker that basically will integrate with different digital asset management solutions um, in order to easily uh, select the content that we want to have displayed with these offers. And I mentioned in the beginning that this content can also be personalized as well. So I might keep the same offer name, like buy one, get one. But I had also showed an example that I could create segments instead of you know just splitting the customers by uh, different testing groups. I could split them by a segment like women's handbags or women's shoes. And then uh, we could apply uh, different versions of, of content toward those, like, you know, an example of this bag here. Uh, so, you know, when it renders for that particular customer, let's say this is one that uh, fell into the, uh, you know, women's handbag segment, and then she was also targeted with that buy one, get one um, test. And then with somebody else, let's say that is in the, you know, shoes, uh, set, women's shoes segment uh, was targeted with this particular uh, buy one, get one test. So this is how uh, you're able to, uh, you know, dynamically render the content when it gets to uh, the the actual ch channel that we're going to be delivering those those offers. So that's it for this segment, and I'll turn it back over to Tom. Hey, thanks, Matt. So you can see a recurring theme here. We're trying to bring out the new features in version 12, and centralized offer management gives that really powerful testing capability. And Matt's showing you we're doing that not only in an audience uh, from an audience perspective, but also the actual creative rendering. So that's it for this episode. We'll uh, see you on the next one where we talk more about offers and offer strategy. Thanks. Thanks.